What's up guys, Viv here. Uh, I was getting ready to finish my Gift of Metal, which is uh, needed to create Gift of Twilight, which in turn uh, is needed to create Twilight itself. So um, before I go ahead and do that, I was going to talk about, I don't know, some tips that might help people uh, who have just decided to start out, have some direction on what they should do. Um, the hardest of the ingredients needed for Gift of Metal is Orichalcum Ore. Uh, you get that in a variety of different ways, actually, some of them are more effective than others. Um, I'll talk about the least effective first, which is buying off the trading post. Uh, it costs too much money when it's going to take you so long to get the other stuff for the legendary anyways that you might as well just get it in the other methods that take longer uh, as you're on your journey. Um, because you're going to need the money that you would have spent on the ore to buy other things for your legendary because um, it's really expensive so I wouldn't recommend that option um, the next option that's a little better than that one is uh, transmuting from mithril uh, the recipe for that is you throw uh, four different things in the mystic forge 250 mithril ore one ore calcum ore uh, five philosopher stones and five crystalline dust uh, this method, also not quite, I don't know, I, w I wouldn't do it a lot because you're going to need skill points for other things, but it is good to do, I don't know, maybe five or ten times during the whole process because uh, you get a lot of excess mithril ore um, when you're trying to mine your ore calcamore anyways. So I would do that, but not a lot, like I said. But uh, you'll get like 10 to 20, maybe 30. The recipe is 10 to 50, but I've never gotten anywhere close to 50. Uh, or Kalkamora you'll get. So, yeah, there's that option. Um, and then the next option is when you're like farming in Cursed Shore, doing your dynamic events, you know, trying to get your gold. Uh, you'll get a lot of drops that are just white items. Um, the ones that are called Chainmail, whatever, Chainmail Gauntlets or whatever. Or... Uh, valuable scrap metal. You can use salvage kits on those to turn them into uh, orichalcum ore sometimes. Usually you get mithril ore, but sometimes you get orichalcum ore, which is really helpful. Uh, just, you know, the r random bonus there. Uh, so I would definitely do that with whites instead of just vendoring them. It's way more useful. Uh, and it's more profitable because you can just turn around and sell even the mithril ore for more than you can uh, get from just vendoring the item. So I would do that, but don't do that on leather items, by the way, because uh, you won't you won't turn a profit because uh, of the leather that you get from leather items is cheaper. So don't do that on leather items. But anyways, um, the next option you have for getting orichalcumor is to uh, when you're when you're getting your legendary, there's you have to get these things called mystic clovers, which is a random recipe it, it generates random stuff but one it has a chance of generating uh, mystic clovers you want to uh, you have to have 77 mystic clovers so during this process one of the things that that uh, recipe outputs is orichalcum ingots themselves not even ores just straight ingots so uh, you can get several ingots doing that um, but you can't predict it, so it's not really reliable, but it's it's good to, like, I don't know, not try to get all your ore before you get your clovers, because you might end up getting extra anyways. So, there's that. And then the final option, clearly the best option, is to just go mine it. Um, now, the thing about this is there's more than meets the eye on ability to mine this stuff. Uh, first of all, there's three different zones um, that have this this ore. You go up here in the Frost Gorge Sound. Why is my map all blurry? That was weird. Anyways, you go up here in Frost Gorge Sound in the northern parts of it, there's some ore, like maybe two or three nodes. Um, you go down here, Malcor's Leap is another one. Uh, it's all over this zone. Usually you'll find some over here and some in the middle here. Uh, that's the places where there's 
biggest condensed amount it seems like to me. Um, then down here in Kershaw, all over the place, usually there's some here or here or in this water here. Usually there's some in this area. Um, that's the most common places I've found them, but they could be all over the place. Um, but anyways, that's the zones you can get them in. And then if you go to uh, the world versus world area in the eternal battlegrounds, uh, there's a jumping puzzle that you access from one of the keeps in the eternal battlegrounds. Um, you have to do this every day anyways. So I would recommend, uh, doing it every day because there's two orichalcum or nodes in that jumping puzzle as well. One of them is just regular one and, and the other one's a rich orichalcum or usually pretty freaking awesome. <laughs> so there's all your options guys. Uh, I hope this was informative um, on how to get orichalcum or. So now after you do all of that you get your orichalcum ingots, 250 of them, you get your 250 platinum ingots, you get your 250 mithril ingots. Uh, what's the other one? Okay, sorry, uh, the video messed up when I alt-tabbed to look at what the other ingot was. It's dark steel ingots. Um, so now I have to redo this part. Uh, after you get all those ingots, you go here, you go to the Mystica Forge Chick Miani, um, click the second tab, Mystic Recipes, uh, get Gift of Metal Recipe, uh, open it up in your inventory and learn it, and come over here to the final step of this process, which is crafting it at your station. So, open her up, and it's easiest if you just type gift, because there's so many recipes it was hard to find. Uh, so I typed gift, found it, uh, crafted it, and happiness ensued as I got my gift of metal. Um, so yeah, hope this is informative for you guys. Uh, go out and get your gift of metal. And uh, I'll see you guys next time.